Every home has a story, and this one goes something like this. It was the summer of 1964 when Mr and Mrs Vile moved into their brand new house at 7 Myri Street, Tikipunga, with their two young children. It was the very first house to be completed in Myri Street, but others quickly followed and it soon became a happy, vibrant neighbourhood of many families and lots of young children. The house was simple, but sturdy, a great place in which to grow up. The two children each had their own bedroom, and in the eyes of a young child, mum and dad's room was really, really big. Mrs Vile spent countless hours in the kitchen baking whatever took her fancy. Winter evenings would be spent in the lounge in front of the open fire that warmed the whole house. Mr Vile enjoyed the workshop in his huge double garage and the kids had loads of room outside for them and their friends to kick a rugby ball, kick a soccer ball, play tennis and crickets. Over the years, the Viles didn't really see the point of renovating, so most, including the bathroom, toilet and laundry, haven't been changed since new. Since growing old, Mrs Vile has had underfloor installation and an HRV system installed. And now, more than 50 years later, after moving in as a young child, it's time for another generation and another family to enjoy our family home. Homes in this kind of condition are a renovator's dream and really hard to get your hands on. So why not make it your own? Put your own stamp on it, add value in the process. Find out more, give me a call. Shane Burns, the household name, Barford and Thompson, Whangarei.